how do you eat an MRE? If you already know, awesome, you're wrong. And if you don't know, great, I'm gonna show you how. I know I'm in a completely different spot, as you can see. And for those of you who are already subscribed, yes, we are in the Brutally Honest Studio, which is my podcast. But we're only filming here today because we're gonna eat food and stuff, and I don't wanna do that at my streaming desk and get it in my keyboard and all that stupid so yeah, we are finally gonna start recording Brutally Honest episodes once again, starting next month. <laughs> yeah, boy. So if you're not subscribed, go f Go subscribe, please. PLEASE! When you go to basic training, most people don't know what an MRE is, they don't know how to open an MRE, and it's kind of a sh situation. So about a year ago, we made a video showing you how to open, eat MREs, and you guys really seem to like that. So it might be time to do it again. But with some of the newer MREs, beef taco filling. Don't get it twisted, this is an MRE that's already been out there. However, there's like this little white tag on the front of it, but it says Ultimate 2018 US Military 2018 or newer beef taco. As you guys know, my favorite MRE is Chili Mac. I really like beef taco, it's completely slept on and you guys need to try it. And the way you can take this video is either what the f inside of beef taco or if you haven't seen the other video how to eat an MRE in basic training when you guys actually get your MREs you probably only have about five minutes max to eat them overall if you're lucky sometimes it could be 30 seconds I don't know first thing you gotta do is you're gonna get your MRE you're gonna cut it open and let's go through the process safety boom but just know you can literally peel the MRE open at the top fastest thing to do though take a knife just burp, burp, open got a nice little hole whip that open but dusty. It's already in a pre-sealed bag, pretty hot. On the edge of the pre-sealed bag, it's like serrated, so you can either rip it open, which is the easiest way of doing it, or you can take your knife and cut that open. But you kind of don't want to do that. Inside, there's like a bunch of little bags, so also be careful when you open up the big bag. Mm. I'm gonna close this because, uh, safety. Huh? It's a little bit messy, but that's just how it's gonna be. First thing we got right here, hot water beverage bag. You're gonna wanna keep this. This is going in the keep pile. Next, we've got beverage-based orange type number three. Eh, you could throw it away, but you can also put it in the keep pile. And when you open up your MRE, everything's gotta be super quick and fast. So the reason I'm saying there's a keep pile and a trash pile is because you're gonna have to quickly f all your shit because you don't have any time. I forgot to mention, once you cut this open and you open up everything inside, start throwing all your trash in the bag, okay? Water heater. I saw a lot of dudes in the comments last time. Oh, you have time to heat up your food? No! This video is also for the kids in the field who are far past basic training and actually have time to eat their food. Just because you have an MRE doesn't mean you don't have time to eat it, and it doesn't make you cool just because you eat it without hot food. You nerd! If you eat your MRE is cold, good for you. If you eat them hot, that means you had time. So, long story short, we keep the heater. Next. Oh, nut raisin mix, trade pile. Everything in the military is basically bartering. So when the world ends, we're good, y'all are f You would be really surprised at things people trade for, like this nut raisin mix, I'm not gonna eat this shit. But in the platoon, there's always that health and fitness guy who only wants to eat like the healthiest shit, come out super ripped. That shit doesn't happen in basic training. For all of you who are wondering, you're not gonna get jacked in basic training. You might lose a few pounds or you might put on some pounds of muscle. You're not gonna get Ripped. Not gonna happen, bro. So you find that guy, you trade him this for like some gum, lemonade, I don't know, something. Next we've got tortillas plain. Keep this, this is part of your main meal. Next we got cheese spread. You wanna keep the cheese spread. And even if you don't like it, you can also put it in your trading pile. But I'm gonna show you something with this. So don't get rid of it yet. Next we've got our little goodie bag. The little goodie bag is basically everything inside that has your toilet paper, some gum, matches, etc. Bill Brute, what? Oh my God, they got real coffee now. This is bullshit, bro. Wait a minute. I can't believe that. Mm. Bro, people about to be mad about that. I'll keep this coffee right now so I can show you something to do with it later. Keep pile. Next, we've got creamer non-dairy dry for coffee. This honestly is garbage. This right here, toilet paper. You have to wipe your ass in the woods, okay? Keep this. But where does it go? Remember your hot beverage bag? We're gonna keep this and we're gonna put it inside. Beautiful. Uh. Next, we've got matches. Honestly, you're gonna get rid of these. You're not gonna be setting fires in basic training. You're gonna get in trouble, so just throw them away. However, if you're just in the field, keep this. If you're doing subsurface fires, or if you just wanna f around, do stupid shit. I wanted to do hood rat stuff with my friend. Next, we got salt. If you're in basic training, you might wanna keep this. If you're sweating up a storm, you need some salt. If not, it's honestly trash. Or if you're looking to cook up some food, make up some chef type shit, you're gonna wanna keep it. For me, garbage. Moist towelette, great for jerking off. No, I'm just kidding. Don't jerk off with this. You will f up your This is gonna be for wiping off your hands or wiping your Goes in the goodie bag. Spoon, great for sitting on. Just kidding. Don't sit on this. Will be the best day, <clears throat> worst day of your life. 
saving that for later. Santa Fe rice and beans. F***ing disgusting, yeah. But we're gonna keep it for later. Boom. Beef taco filling. We're gonna keep it for later. Sugar, uh, garbage. Lastly, we've got gum. Garbage. No, I'm just kidding. A lot of people will trade you for gum, so you should keep it. Let me correct myself. Lastly, we've got your little stand holder thingy. You can keep this. Now to clear up the desk. These are the raisins. Like I said, you can trade them if you want to, but for this video, it's garbage for me. Back to the beverage that we kept. You just pour water into this bag, and then you pour this in here. Great. You drink it out of the bag. You have orange juice. For the video, garbage. And then now we can kind of start the prep phase. You're going to take your heater bag. Open that shit. Blow it open a little bit. I don't know what kind of chemicals are in this thing actually. Don't blow so hard. We're gonna take our little stand thingy. Like I said in the last video, I don't even think we use this and you really don't have to. It's just, I need something to prop. Actually disregard this garbage. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. So you got your bag, you got your beef filling. Do not put the beef filling inside the bag yet. First, you're going to have your camel back or whatever, you're gonna put water in your mouth. Mm! Mm! You're gonna spit it on both sides of the water heater all over the place. Then you're gonna slowly just kind of crumple it up, move that water around, and listen. It's gonna start to fuzz, make little sounds, so then you're gonna take your beef taco filling and you're going to slide it in one side. Make sure you don't crush the heater and be careful because this shit gets hot, bro. Make sure your heater's on the bottom side and lean it or tilt it up against something. And also, if you have cheese or peanut butter or anything like that, take that if you want it melted and really nice, and you're going to put it on the other side of the water heater. Make sure that gets in there. Kind of feel the bag, make sure everything's heating up because you may have to put in more water. And then you're just kind of kind of fold this up if you can, and you're going to lean it up against something. Wow, it's not leaning very good, but it's gonna work. Long story short, just make sure the water does not fall out of the bag. And I could put the Santa Fe rice and beans in there as well to make like an actual good tortilla, but honestly, it's just a good training item. So just kind of put it in that training pile. But for this video, throwing it away. And once again, if you're in basic training, you're not gonna get to do this. You're just gonna have to straight up just pick up a spoon and f***ing eat it. But if you got time in the field, this is what you're doing. If you dip, smoke, whatever the f***ing and you're stuck in basic training, can't get a fix, let me take care of you. While this is heating up, you're gonna go ahead, you're gonna take this coffee shit, which we didn't have, dick suck. And you're gonna go into your bag, you're gonna pull out your toilet paper. Got the toilet paper. What you're gonna do is, you're gonna take one little sheet of toilet paper, all right? The rest, you're just gonna wanna fold it up nicely. Boom, boom, boom. Put it back in your bag. You're gonna take the coffee grind, you're gonna open it, and you're just gonna pour the coffee, Jesus. You're gonna pour the coffee grinds into the toilet paper. Boom, boom. I think a lot of you are gonna be like, ew, what the fuck? he's kidding? I'm not. For all my veterans out there, let me know how you would make your little ranger pouches and any other weird fixes for anybody else who is addicted to nicotine. I don't smoke or anything like that, but if you make these, you can sell them or trade them for better items in the field. So you're gonna dip that in there. You're just gonna kind of fold it up. Boom, boom, boom. And you're just gonna roll it out. It's gonna be just like this. Then you're gonna take it and put it in your lip because now it's a little dip pouch. This is really good for anybody stuck in the field, on fire guard, somebody who's falling asleep. You give them a little ranger pouch, lots of coffee. They're gonna wake up, they're gonna feel better. And like I said, anybody who already dips, this will kind of take the edge off as well. Then when you're done, obviously, take it out. <laughs> it's messy. <laughs> Welcome to the infantry where we hit our life and nothing matters. We really be living this shit, bro. It's a, it's a grind. The infantry a grind, bro. If you can make it here, you can make it back <laughs> anywhere. <sighs> Got toilet paper on my tongue. It's because I'll be eating ass. <laughs> All right, now that we're done with that and this is pretty much hot enough, we're going to open up our tortillas. Oh! Tortilla one. Oh, f I got coffee on the... Shit! It's fine, whatever. Why was I lazy? I should have just cleaned up the... Good grinds, bro. <laughs> okay. Show you guys your options. Tortilla one, I'm gonna show you how to make the actual meal. Tortilla two, I'm gonna show you how to make a snack. I mean, I guess it's kind of weird. It's a little ass backwards. We're gonna go with tortilla two first. Right here, I got the cheese. Normally, it'd be very hard, but now, because it's been in hot sh it's gonna be all cheesy. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Am I not look as cheesy to you? Ah! Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out! Ah! Take out your spoon, then you're just gonna, oh yeah. You spread this around, boom, boom, boom. You're gonna spread around the nice hot cheese. You're gonna fold it, cheese burrito. Taco, I don't fucking know. Quesadilla. And it's good. How the f do I get cheese everywhere, bro? Now for tortilla number one. Okay, we're gonna open this up. Be careful, this 
is hot. There's gonna be like a little little slit divot thingy right here. You're gonna just twist that open. Shit. It'll open up and that's gonna be your beef for your beef taco. Are you gonna do scoop that out? The best way to do it because you normally have two tacos. What the f is up with me saying tacos? Jesus Christ. Tortillas. You're just gonna take one out, spread it out. Oh my God, it's so wet. You're gonna fold it and then boom, beef taco. Mm. Booty ass. And that's it. And when you're done, make sure you put everything in your disposable MRE bag. You throw that in your rucksack. And then you have your goodie bag. And then you have all your trading items in two separate pockets. And you're good to go. I actually recently just got a Russian MRE, a British MRE, and a Ukraine MRE. And those are MREs I've never tried. I've never learned how to open, etc. If you guys want to see me do a video like that, make sure you like, share, and comment. And subscribe, you <clears throat> Sorry. Please. Thank you. Which means that this video will do good, and if this video does good, that means I will open up and do more videos on those new MREs that I just got. Let me know down below in the comments what your favorite MRE is, and thanks for stopping by.